The memorial service of the late Robert William Collimore, former chief executive officer of Kenya's biggest telco, Safaricom, was one that saw loads of laughter from friends and family that attended. He was remembered in both words and color. And as Raquel Megai reports, the memorial service saw classical music being played as glowing tributes accorded to the late Collimore. It is the flickering candle standing next to a photographic image of Bob Colimo at the entrance of the All Saints Cathedral that perhaps relayed hope to all that came here. <laughs> Following a wish from his wife, Womboi Kamuri, to have the memorial service as celebration of life and not a mourning of his death, all that came were adorned in colourful clothing and like many memorial services. And when they got a chance to speak, it was of the humorous man they all got a chance to interact with. He asked his tailor to sell the rest of our suits. The price was beyond our budgets. So we politely told the tailor that we would return at a later time. Bob did not comment. On our, on our way to dinner that evening, we stopped at a car showroom where I showed him what I thought was a nice car. That is when he vented his frustration at, at our not buying suits from his favorite tailor, quipping that the car was worth an awful lot of suits. The next morning in his humor, he empesed me 1,000 1, shillings as a startup fund for buying the car. I know that tailor the man spoke about. <laughs> I actually did have a conversation with Bob once about that tailor. I know that tailor. I use that tailor, he's a great tailor, <laughs> but uh, my wife, who is a believer in equality, is still buying clothes on the basis of that tailor's suits. But it was not on matters fashion only, where Bob's sense of humor was to be felt. After many things, he said to me, I don't know about this heaven and earth thing. I really don't know about this life after death thing. But I really, really hope there's life after death. So I said, and what do you mean by that? And if you met him, he's got a twinkle in his eye. So he goes, if there are ghosts, I will come and rustle the curtains. On, on the birthdays, when you light a candle for my kids, I'll come and blow it and it'll go off. And you light it again and I'll blow it. And you light it again and I'll blow it. However, it appears that the last drink he got to share during his last moment did not include all his friends, that creating a problem. Eventually, he went into his whiskey store and opened a very special reserve blended whiskey that he had saved many years for a special guest. He insisted we become the special guest. And he insisted that we all share the whiskey, even for those who don't drink whiskey. My one disappointment, I was supposed to have gone back to collect something that had been reserved for a special friend. <laughs> so Peter Kenneth, I got her and crew, you have to pay. That didn't belong to you. But in honor of his final wish and gift to those who loved and cherished him, an eight-minute jazz piece was played. It remains to be the only photo of Bob Colimo in an empty church where friends and family gathered to celebrate his life, an indication that even in his death, his legacy lives on. Rakamuigai, Citizen TV, Nairobi.